Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. I'm here at Agnew Lake in the Ansel Adams Wilderness doing a five-day backpacking trip. I hiked in yesterday. I was pretty late getting to the trailhead to get the trip started. It was a long travel day, so I did not get any video yesterday. This isn't going to be a very big trip. It was put together kind of last minute. I didn't even think I was going to make it to the Sierra this year, but as luck would have it, I was able to work it out so I could get out here, but I'm only doing pretty short five, six mile days. There's only about 11 hours of daylight this time of year out here. The plan for today is to hike up to Thousand Island Lake and I'll probably camp somewhere around there tonight. Here's a look down at the way I came in. Way out there, you can barely make out Mono Lake.
It's around 5.30. Found a place to camp right here on Thousand Island Lake. And I am losing daylight quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and collect my water and start getting set up for the night. All right, guys, it's about 6.40. I'm down to my last few minutes of daylight. I'm about to demolish this mountain house lasagna and enjoy a few party favors. This is going to be the end of day number two. See you in the morning. Good morning, day number three. Last night was long and cold. It's dark for about 13 hours out of the day right now. When I got here to camp, there wasn't much daylight left and I really didn't get a chance to fully appreciate Thousand Island Lake here. And waking up to it, this place is just stunning. Absolutely magnificent. I don't really have a set plan for today. It's currently Thursday, and I know I have to hike out of here by Saturday evening. But other than that, I don't have designated campsites or set days or miles. I can kind of come and go as I please, which is pretty nice since I've had permitted campsites on my last few trips. Uh, I've just got freedom to roam and explore out here, and I'm going to take full advantage of it.
I made a slight detour to see Emerald and Ruby Lakes. And when I got to Ruby Lake, something about the trail looking ahead was just calling to me to go a little further and check it out. So now here I am at Garnet Lake where I plan to camp for the night. Made for a pretty short day today and it'll make my next two days a little bit longer. I think I have about 15 miles to split up over the next two days to get back to the trailhead. Not too bad, but this area was just too beautiful to pass up. Okay, it's around four o'clock. I've spent the last hour or so just walking up and down the lake shore, enjoying the scenery. Garnet Lake is freaking beautiful. Glad I decided to stay the night here. Got enough daylight left to have an early dinner and enjoy some whiskey and a cigar down by the lake. Great day. Okay, it's going on 5.30, starting to run out of daylight, so I'm going to sit down by the water and enjoy a nice relaxing evening with my buddies Rocky and Jack. This is going to be the end of day number three. Good night. Good morning, day number four. Last night I tried to stay up as late as I could stand it and I sat out here till about eight o'clock and it finally just got too cold and had to bundle up in my sleeping bag. One of the cool things with these long nights is that there hasn't been a cloud in the sky. So the moon and stars at night are just brilliant and I've been able to leave my tent doors open 
and kind of look through the mesh at the sky through the night when I can't sleep. That's been pretty freaking nice. My plan for today is to hike along the JMT somewhere around seven or eight miles up toward Wall Lake. I've got to do a bit of backtracking at the beginning. I'll pass back by Ruby and Emerald Lake. And then once I cross the junction where Thousand Island Lake is, it'll all be new scenery to me. Should be another good day.
actually there's a little bit of hail coming down. Okay, it's around 3.30. I found a really nice wooded area to camp here, right around where I'd hoped to make it today. And there's this beautiful basin just down the bank behind where I'm gonna be camping, where Rush Creek runs into Wall Lake and uh, just couldn't pass this up. Today was an awesome day. I only saw three people and two of them were camped across the lake from me this morning, so I barely even saw them. Five-star scenery the entire way. I think I did around eight miles, and seven of it was along the JMT, so it's not a big secret. There's a lot of great views out here. And even when I got into the wooded section here, the last half a mile or so, it's really beautiful forest. No recent signs of burns. Some of the trees are absolutely enormous. Wish I'd done a better job photographing some of that as I went through there. It's been raining on me on and off for the last couple of hours, really since I came down from Island Pass. I actually didn't film a whole lot up there because it got cloudy and started sprinkling on me. There's more blue skies overhead than gray, so I believe it's going to pass. But I'm going to go ahead and get my tent set up. And looks like I've got a couple hours of daylight left just to kind of relax here. Looking at the map, I believe I'll have about an eight mile hike out tomorrow. So not too bad at all. Good day. Day number one, I started here at the Rush Creek Trailhead and just followed it to Agnew Lake. Then day two, I followed this trail here along Spooky Meadow and Clark Lakes, came down to Thousand Island Lake, probably camped somewhere around there. Yesterday, I left Thousand Island Lake, made what I thought was going to be a little detour just to see Emerald and Ruby Lake, ended up coming down to Garnet Lake, camping around here. Then today... I connected with the JMT, followed it up over Island Pass to this junction here, and then headed east, 
Currently, I'm camped somewhere around here. And then tomorrow, the last day of the trip, I'm following this trail here across Wall Lake and Jim Lake and Agnew Lake back to the trailhead I started at. Okay, I've got a little bit of downtime here at camp. I want to take a minute to talk about this trip overall. First of all, weather has been practically perfect the whole trip. Warm days, cold nights. Did get some rain and hail today, but it wasn't even enough to consider putting on rain gear or anything. Not bad, all things considered. Perfect amount of solitude. I would say on average, I've seen maybe four people a day. Not a ton of big wildlife sightings, a lot of deer, and I saw what may have been a bald eagle. Didn't really get a good enough look at him to verify. I freaking love it out here. Five star scenery every single day. I really love the wild ruggedness of the Sierra. And I wasn't really sure what to expect on this particular section. I had actually planned a trip to Yosemite initially, and I always like to have a backup plan in mind anyways. I learned about a week ago that they were going to be doing prescribed burns in Yosemite Valley and kind of thought to myself, I want nothing to do with that. And there were plenty of permits available for the Rush Creek Trailhead, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Glad I did. I actually drove through Yosemite on the way here. and. The smoke was pretty terrible. That would have made for a miserable experience. I didn't even take time to stop and take any pictures or anything as I drove through Yosemite, unfortunately. Maybe it'll be a little bit clearer as I drive back through on my way out. Coming out here mid into late October is really something special. You can't really plan for that. This time of year is right on the cusp of could be wildfire season and there could be winter weather and the trail might be under a few feet of snow. You never really know what you're going to get until the time approaches. I got really lucky with that. Days are short this time of year. I knew to expect that when I came out here. That's why I didn't plan a big ambitious route. Kind of tried to limit myself to five, six mile days. Got a little bit longer day than that tomorrow, but that won't be too bad. I don't have to set up camp or anything when I get back to the car and it's all downhill, so no climbing. Elevation kicked my ass definitely the first couple days. By this morning, I finally started to feel pretty good hiking up around that 10,000 foot elevation range. Coming from the East Coast, it's always a tough first few days dealing with that, no getting around it. But yeah, it's freaking spectacular out here. Absolutely love it. All right, gang, it's going on 5.30. I've got water boiling for my dinner. Start to lose the sun now. I think sunset is in like 45 minutes or so. This is gonna be the end of day number four. See you in the morning. Good morning, 
It's day number five. Sadly, the last day of the trip. As much as I'm bummed to be hiking out of the backcountry today, I am looking forward to a hot shower, hopefully some good pizza and cold beer, and checking out the town of Mammoth Lakes. Actually never been there before. It's going to be another awesome day, no matter what. Cheers. All right, kids, I'm all packed up and it's time to roll.
So around 1230, I found this really beautiful little bluff overlooking Jim Lake, starting to get close to the road and in the range of day hikers. So I'm gonna call this the end of the trip. Something you'll notice I'm doing more of is writing and recording music to incorporate into these videos. I had wanted to do that from the start of the channel and I'm just now getting to where I've got my home recording set up and I can get home and as I start watching the footage, begin the writing process and I really enjoy doing that. Curious to know what you guys think. I know I've had several comments saying some of you really enjoy how I kind of capture the peace and quiet and I still plan to do a lot of that but writing pieces of music to go along with these videos is really enjoyable for me. If you have a minute please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.